All right, teammates, let's pick up where we left off um, in our winning presentation training. Uh, we just covered the, um, the warm up um, of the uh, winning presentation process, and now we're going to talk about the play. So what we're assuming is that a person um, has said, hey, listen, uh, more money, more freedom sounds good to me. We've explained to them that, hey, that's great. This is very well. It could be an opportunity for you. But then again, it may not. Worst case scenario, hopefully you find value that it might be some things that you and your family could take advantage of. Uh, or worst case scenario, you'll be comfortable being a referral source for me. They've agreed to that. We've told them uh, about the power of having a life insurance license and an investment license. And that having those two licenses is one of the best kept secrets for creating first generation wealth because they allow you to get paid like a medical doctor uh, without going to medical school. And so uh, now we are diving into the play. And so when you start the play, you say, hey, you know, let me explain, right? And you say, have you been to a funeral before? That's the start of the play. Have you been to a funeral before? And they'll say, yes. Well, you say, well, normally when people go to funerals, uh, what do you see? You see people sending flowers or bringing flowers to offer their condolences. But imagine you show up to a funeral, but this time you show up a little bit different. Let's say you have some flowers in this hand because you want to pay your respects to the bereaved family. But in your other hand, let's say you have a check for like $500,000 in a death claim that you could present to a widow in her time of grief, but now she can take care of her babies. If you were able to do that and have that kind of impact, how would that make you feel, right? And so what you're doing is that you're just painting a picture of going to a funeral, which we've all gone to, but being able to show up uh, with a legacy check that can create a tremendous impact on a family's life. And so I've added a few words in there and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you were able to make that kind of impact, um, you, know, I, you know, how would that make you feel? And that widow's moment of grief, you know, I've, I've added a few things in there. It's still follow along with the transcript um, and all that good stuff, but added a few things in there uh, just to kind of make the, um, I guess the, the the, uh, the the presentation a little bit more uh, just, you know, stronger, right? And so, you know, they'll say, man, it'll make me feel great, right? To be able to deliver that check, they, they'll, they'll agree with you. They'll say, oh, man, it'll make me feel excellent, right? And then when they tell you that, you say, well, listen, that illustrates the magic and the power of not only having life insurance, but also having a life insurance license uh, because it allows you to be able to uh, make that kind of impact. So, it illustrates not only the magic and the power of having life insurance, but also having that life insurance license. Let me explain what I'm talking about, right? And then this is what you do. You share your screen, right? And I use a PowerPoint presentation. If you're using a PDF file or whatever the case may be, this is the point where you share your screen, right? And so I'm sharing my screen. Hey, this is an example of a married couple that we were able to do a life insurance program with. Now we do more than life insurance. I always say that. Now we do more than life insurance, but this is just an example of a married couple that we were able to help in the area of life insurance. This is Mr. and Mrs. Jones, right? Uh, they're age 37 and 35 and they have two children. This is what we did. We were able to put $500,000 in coverage on Mr. Jones, another $500,000 in coverage on Mrs. Jones, and then $25,000 in coverage on each of their two kids and this program only costs them $133 a month. So what that means is, is that if Mr. Jones passes away, what, what are we doing? We're going to bring his wife a check for half a million dollars and vice versa. Now, of course, no one ever likes to think about anything happening to their children. But can we agree that kids need life insurance? And they should say yes. And you say absolutely, because tragedy can strike and unfortunately funerals are not free. So what we've done is we've put over a million dollars in total coverage on this family and it only cost them $133 a month. Now, my first question that I have for you, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Klein, is looking at this, do you think we did a good thing for this family? Because that's important. And they'll say yes, right? And then you say, I agree with you 100%. Now, my next question is more business related. And I think that you can appreciate this. That's just a little extra I put in there. I say, hey, now my next question is more business related. And I think you can appreciate this. If it only took me one hour, just one hour to meet with this family, 
educate them and actually put this life insurance program in place on them, how much of that $133 do you feel I should make for that one hour's worth of work? Now, I know you probably don't know, but when you think about it, most professions get paid somewhere in the ballpark of maybe $20 to $30 an hour, right? Yep. And so, um, or, or might get paid 40 to 60 plus an hour, depending on what type of work you're doing or what type of profession that you're in. But if it only took me one hour, just one hour to meet with Mr. and Mrs. Jones and put this life insurance program in place on them, how much of that 133 do you feel I should take home? Just take a wild guess. And most clients are going to say anywhere from 20 to $30 an hour. A lot of people say half. Some people will say 100 Whatever number that they give you, it's probably not going to be anywhere near the actual compensation number, right? And so let's say that they said, hey, I think that you should take $50 home. I say, well, great. That sounds good because that lets me know that you see this as a $50 an hour conversation. And that's good by any standard because there's not too many opportunities out there that are paying people $50 an hour. But let me show you the type of conversation that we're having, right? I'm a regional vice president with the company. So on my contract level, for helping this one family, I'm going to get paid this number right here. You see this number that's circled on your screen? $1,670.96. Do you see that? And they'll say, yes, I see that. Now, whatever contract level that you're on, you show them your contract level. You say, hey, as a district leader, if I help that family, I'm going to get paid that $759.53. As a senior rep, I'm going to get paid that $531 or as a division, whatever your contract level is, you tell them your contract, right? You tell them your contract. And so if you notice, when I go from this screen to this screen, no circles pop up. That gives you room to be able to tell them what you would get compensated on your contract. And you ask them, hey, is that a good thing or a bad thing? And of course, they're going to say, man, that's a great thing. Absolutely. And see, that makes me like that doctor where I'm able to do a good thing and get paid extremely well at the same time. But that's not even the best part because I'm actually in a management training program to become a regional vice president and open up my own agency. So... As a regional vice president, if I did the same thing for that family in that one hour, I would get paid this $1,670.96. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? They'd be like, oh, that's even better. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Would you rather get paid like, and then just whatever your contract level is, or you say that, would you rather get paid like a district leader or would you rather get paid like a regional vice president? And of course, they're going to say regional vice president. You say, well, great. Well, tell you what, what I want to do because we have a particular nuance with our compensation. I think that we actually get paid better than doctors. And I'm going to use this scenario to set things up. Um, have you ever had to train someone on your job before? And they'll say, yeah, I have. And say, okay, well, great. Well, did you get paid anything extra for that? You probably didn't, right? And they'll say, no, I didn't. Well, we actually have a particular uh, part of our conversation where you can actually get paid and compensated for training people. So since you like regional vice president, I'm going to make you the regional vice president. Let's say that you're the regional VP with our, our company, right? And say this, say you're the regional vice president. Let's say that you meet me, right? And I'm not in the company, but you empower me to get involved with this company part-time and you also empower me to get my life insurance license. Are you with me so far? And they'll say, yes. Okay, great. Let's just say that after you, you, you recruited me into the business, um, you, you empowered me to get my license, you took me under your wing uh, and you trained me. And you got me to a place to where I am an independent representative, which means that uh, I didn't quit my full-time job. I'm still doing this on the side. Um, but as a, as a trained part-time representative, I'm able to go out and help families on my own. And let's just say that I did that. I went out and I helped the Jones family that I just showed you, spent one hour with them, helped them get that life insurance. As a part-time representative for helping that family, I'm going to get paid that number that circled at the top, that $379.77. Now, let me ask you a question. If I made almost $400 in one hour for helping a family, is it safe to say I'm going to be excited about that? And let me stop right there. This is what you asked them. And you asked them that with kind of like a, a, a humorous energy. Like, hey, let me ask you something. If I made almost $400 in one hour for helping a family, uh, get that coverage, would it be safe to say, I'm going to be excited about that, right? 
And they're going to agree. They're going to say, yeah, you're going to be excited. Absolutely. Right? And you say, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. But watch this. If you subtract that $379 that I made as the part-time rep when I helped the family, from the $1,670 that you would have earned as the VP, had you been the one that personally helped that family, that's a difference in compensation of almost $1,300. Do you see that? And they'll say, yes, I see that. Then you say this, hey, you're not going to believe this. Our company would still pay you that $1,300 difference when I was the one that went and helped that family get that life insurance and you wouldn't have to be there or leave your house. Isn't that exciting? And they'll say, yeah, man, that's exciting. That's really, really exciting, right? Because we train people all the time. You might want to go into a little bit more depth on that. Hey, because we train people all the time on our jobs. You just mentioned that, right? You train people all the time, but our job doesn't pay us anything for training those people where we're spending our time and our energy getting people up to speed and the only People that that benefits is the company that we work for. Well, our company is different. Our company believes that if you're going to invest your time, effort, and energy in mentoring and training another person, that they're going to share the profits with you. So that person that you train, if they go out and they're successful and they help a family, our company is going to pay them. But guess what? They're going to share the profits and pay you. Isn't that awesome? And they'll say, man, yeah, that's, that's really good. And just put that energy out about that because people aren't used to a system like that. And so you let them know how special that that is. And then you say, well, great. Well, as good as that is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let, let, let's expand it, right? Let's imagine if you hired and trained 10 people like me. And in one month, all 10 of us went out and blessed one family each. We're all going to get paid, but now your $1,300 can very well turn into over $13,000, and you wouldn't even have to be there or leave your house. How amazing is that? And they'll say, yeah, man, that is like amazing. That is awesome, right? And I'll say, well, let me ask you a question. These numbers that we're showing you on the screen, or that I'm showing you on the screen, do they look good to you? And they'll say, yeah, they look good. Well, as good as they look, we just got one problem. That problem is, and then I take it off. You can't make any of that money. Just as I'm telling them that you can't make any of that money. That's the problem. I'm unsharing my screen. The problem is you can't make any of that money. Do you know why you can't make any of that money? And the answers that you'll get back is, well, I'm not in the company. Uh, I haven't joined the business. And then some people will hit the nail on the head and they say, well, I'm not licensed. And that's the answer. So if they say, hey, I'm not licensed. Hey, that's exactly right. You're not licensed. So, so, so let me ask this question. If not having the license is the only thing standing between you and an opportunity to be able to make that kind of money, what's one of the wisest and best questions that you can ask me right now? And they'll say, well, how can I get the license? Excellent. I'm glad you asked. Well, if you were going to get a life insurance license on your own, in your state, out of pocket, it'll cost you in the ballpark of about $500. But if you come through our company and allow us to sponsor you, we will actually pay for you to get that life insurance license. Yes, we will. And, um, and that's your license. Um, you don't have to pay that money back or anything like that. But that's not all that we do. See, I mentioned earlier that we don't just do life insurance, we actually do investments as well. And we, and we make a lot of money doing that. I didn't even show you that compensation. If you were gonna go get an investment license on your own, in your state, out of pocket, that'll cost you over $1,000. But again, if you come through our company, we will sponsor you and we will pay for you to get that license. And those are your licenses. You don't have to pay that money back. It's not even a reimbursement program. Now, the only investment that you would have to make is in a business number. That's an internal number within our company. It's a one-time investment of $99. No one makes any money off of that. Always make that point. Tell them no one makes any money off of that. The $99 pays for your background check. And we'll come back to that, right? There is a monthly investment of $25 a month. No one makes any money off of that. The $25 actually gives you access to the tools you need to be able to run your business. One of those tools is our agent website. Um, it's like your virtual office. It helps you track and manage your clients and all that good stuff. 
There's also an app that we have on our devices, whether it's our phones or our tablets. It's how we submit applications electronically for our clients and all that good stuff. Um, but it's like your virtual office. You can basically run your business from any computer, tablet, or smartphone and run your business on the go. And that $25 a month that you pay is tax deductible, right? And so you'll get that money back when you do your taxes. Now, the only thing that would disqualify a person from being able to get a business number with us is if they have a felony. And you don't have one of those, do you? See, it's important for you to know that, uh, and, and I'm stopping right here. It's important for you to know if a person has a felony or not, because we can't do any business with anybody uh, recruiting wise that has a felony. So you ask that question there. And hopefully that person says no, right? You say, okay, well, great. Because you can't get a license in the state if you have a felony. And I tell people that. So that's why the background check piece is so important. Now, let me summarize. And that's how I go into it. I always say, hey, okay, well, let me summarize. We're willing to invest over $1,500 worth of licenses in you. And again, those are your licenses. Uh, there's no catch to it. You don't have to pay the money back, right? Now, in our system, there's no boss and there's no quota. And I always repeat that. I repeat, no boss, no quota. See, uh, sir or ma'am, you don't work for us. We actually work for you. See, it's our responsibility to teach you the business to go at your pace, to help you become successful in the business. And we're extremely passionate and effective at doing that, right? And there's no quota because this is not about sales. This is about education, right? Because there's a lot of people who look like you and I and come from where we come from that no one is talking to about how to become financially independent. Am I correct in saying that? And I'll say, yep, you're right, right? So what we're doing is that we're providing that information in the financial literacy to help people get on a clear path to become financially independent. And people appreciate when we take an educational approach. And then the last thing I want to talk about is that uh, you create your own schedule. And I know you can appreciate that. You work this thing whenever you want to work this thing, right? You're able to create your own schedule, but you'll have somebody working directly with you, right? You're never by yourself. Right? You're in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. Uh, we'll work with you hand in hand to do a lot of the heavy lifting to give you the luxury of being able to sit back and observe the process while you're learning. Right, And so let me tell you a little bit about me. And so after I've said all of that, then I go into my personal story. And this is where you should share your personal story. Now, let, let me share a little bit about me. And you tell your personal story of how you got involved in the business. It doesn't, be, it doesn't need to be a long drawn out story, but just something that is extremely effective and, and, and powerful in terms of what motivated you to get involved with the business, right? So you tell your personal story and then you pivot it and you say, hey, listen, uh, what I know is that in our company and our team, we're not just looking for anybody. If we were looking for anybody, uh, we would put, uh, ads on the internet or pull resumes off of websites um, and run interviews that way. That's not what we're looking for, right? We're looking for who we call the somebodies. And the somebodies are people that are probably successful in their own right, right? And the work that you do or the area of discipline that you're in, but there may just be some still small voice inside of you that desires more. And that more could be more money, it could be more freedom, it could be more options for yourself or for your children if they have children, but it's a voice that says that you deserve more and you know it. And so if anything that I'm saying resonates with you, then I'm here to tell you that this is that opportunity that you've been waiting on. This is that opportunity, right? And so before I ask my last question, I wanna give you an opportunity to see if you have any questions. So what questions do you have? And family, this is where you're fielding the questions. Hey, well, 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 what about this? What about that? And you're answering whatever questions that they have, right? And then after you've answered all their questions, you say, hey, listen, let me ask you this. You know, if the only thing standing between you and an opportunity to be able to just impact families in an amazing way, create a legacy for your family, the things that I know that are important to you, if the only thing standing between you and that opportunity is getting a business number. How soon would you want to get a business number so you can step into what can be an exciting and amazing future? And you wait for their response. And they say, well, nothing, man. Okay, well, great. Well, let's go ahead and get you started. 
and you explain to them again what it's going to take to get them started. Hey, listen, what we're going to do, we can get you in the system to get you your business number. What I always like to do is just kind of minimize the whole formality of getting them in the system. What we'll do is we'll get you in the system. Um, you collect a little bit of information from you, get you your business number. Again, the initial investment is the first one time 99 and the 25. So it's a total of 124. That's the minimal part. The main thing that we want to get to, and this is what I stress. The main thing that we want to get to after we get you your business number, get you in the system is to get your orientation scheduled. The orientation is where we meet again virtually like this and we figure out how this could fit into your life. And this is where we kind of set some goals and some milestones with you on how to start growing your business and we take you through what the licensing process looks like. That whole process takes about an hour, uh, but that's the main thing. And we want to schedule that within the next 24 to 72 hours, all right? And so let's go ahead and get you your business number and you go ahead and move them into getting them set up to get the business number. If they have any follow-up questions, anything that they want answered, then that's when hard power takes over, right? That's when it's up to you to really share with them. And sometimes people just need an extra push, right? An extra push to get them going, to tip the scales, to motivate them to go ahead and give it a shot, right? Some people don't move forward because of the fear of the unknown. I don't know anything about this area. I'm not a salesperson or anything like that. Well, you let them know that they don't have to be a salesperson. They don't have to already have a lot of knowledge in this space. That's where you and the team that you're a part of comes in, is that we do a lot of that heavy lifting for them. That all they need is just a desire to help people at the same time help themselves, right? And if they're willing to give this thing a shot, you'll be lock arms with them in the foxhole to help them build a business and a legacy for their family. Another thing that I always uh, share with people from time to time is that I kind of just lead them through the, to the conclusion that they can do this. I say, well, let's kind of recap things. Let me ask you something. Who do you know that would love to be financially independent and just have wealth and, and, and be able to create freedom for their family? They'll say everybody, right? Everybody, know. okay, great. So if you think about the people that you know that would love to be in that situation, of all those people that you can think of that you personally know, I know this is a crazy question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Do those people like you and trust you? And they'll laugh and they'll say, yes, they do. All right, great. All right. And so if you can help those people, right, you would feel good about that. And let me ask you this. The money that you can earn from helping those people, would that money help you reach some of your goals and dreams faster? And they'll say, yes, it would. Okay, so let's pull it all together. You know people that would love to be financially independent or have a strong financial house or be in a better place financially and creating wealth. Those same people that you know, check this out. They like you and they trust you. And from helping those people, from serving those people, not selling those people, from serving those people with just great information and helping them get on that path, the money that you can earn doing that could help you reach your goals and dreams faster, right? So if all of those things are working in your favor, when you know the people, the information that you share can impact them in a great way. You have credibility with those people and the money you can earn can help you achieve your dreams faster. Why wouldn't you get a business number and step into an amazing and exciting future, especially if we're going to help you do it and we're going to have fun in the process? Why wouldn't you do it? And so that right there might be a way to get a person to say, you know what, you're right. You know what, you're right. I'll go ahead and give this a shot. And you encourage them to do it. Go for it. So if you, got, if you see somebody kind of vacillating between, I ah, should, I should not, that is your cue to say, do it. Just go for it. You never know what God is up to. I know it may seem uncomfortable. I know it may seem outside of the box. But aren't most great opportunities and aren't most great journeys started from an ideal of thinking outside the box? Come on, somebody. This is your time. This is your season. This could very, very well be that decision that changes your family tree forever. And I'm just crazy enough to believe that with you. So I'd love to be in business with you. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. You never know what God is up to. And that might be an opportunity for you to just tip the scale 
and have them um, pull the trigger and join you in business. Now, let me say this, teammates. I say those things because I truly believe those things, right? I know what this opportunity has done for me and my family. I know who I was and where I was in my walk before God brought this opportunity into my life. And I've seen just the blessings that being a part of Primerica has poured out to me and my family and continuing to do and the legacy that my wife and I are building for our family. So when I say those things to people, I really believe that, right? I hope you believe it as well. Because the more you believe it, the more you'll be able to convey it. You can only testify to the highest level of your conviction. And if your conviction towards our crusade and the bigness and the power of our opportunity is high, then it'll resonate through the screen. Come on. It'll resonate through the screen to whoever you're talking to. And they will pull the trigger on joining you in business. And so teammates, that's the play. That's the play. That is the presentation that you take someone through. If they say, yes, more money and more freedom sounds good to me. You take them through the play with the purpose of recruiting them to the business. And I hope and I pray that you are able to tell your story to do the warm up in the play to as many people as possible. Because the more you do it, the more chances and the more opportunities you have of building your financial services agency and building your business and building a, just a slamming, amazing future for you and your family. And so that's the play part. Uh, I'm going to end it here and I'll come back in our third piece and I'll talk about the who we are, what we do in getting commitments. Love you, teammates. Talk to you soon.